Good afternoon. We're gonna take some of the fundamentals and apply it to uh, some design work. Uh, I'm just I'm thinking foundation wise, we're gonna use core white through the whole entire nail. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the glitter around the body. So what I'll do is I'll come in and I'm going to get a nice, like really, really thin amount, right? And then what I'll do is I'll just set this dead center right into the body and then we're gonna use obviously the brush just to kind of get it nice and flush, nice and tight. I can allow this to run, which is fine. And then what I'm gonna do is as it starts to run down onto the form, I could use the body of my brush to kind of just work it from side to side even, right? It's thin enough where I'm going to be able to kind of stretch this into the length of desire, right? So if I'm going with something, say, like tapered square or coffin, what I could do is continuously stretch this out, right? And I'm trying to get something that's really, really thin. As it starts to set, I could brush this onto the form and taper this out the best I possibly can. So then I could use the side of my brush as a kind of taper that off, okay? If you decide to round it off, you can also do the same thing. Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, we can square it off at the end if we decide to, right? So we're just gonna try to round this off the best we possibly can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna continue using a, just a, a real slight amount Right, I'm just going to work this towards the back. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area. I wanna to try to create, again, a, a nice background. I don't wanna build bulk. Right? All I'm trying to do is add some opacity to the natural nail. Brush this through, you can see from the side right, how, how thin it's going to be. Right? It's, 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 again, I'm trying to make this as flush right, to the natural nails I possibly can. And I'm going to use a really, really thin amount at the cuticle area. Boom. All right, just kind of work this around real, real kind of light, and then I'm just gonna kind of feather that in. And then I'm just going to use, again, a really, really light amount. I'm just going to work it all the way down and around the perimeter. A little bit more glitter right here on the tip, um, but I'm just going to work it again all the way around, trying to get a window frame, right, with a very, very real thin amount of this glitter mix. And then what we can do once we actually establish this, I can kind of work around the window frame so that it looks like it's kind of fading internally into the body. I'm just taking some speed clear. And then using the speed clear, right? I'm gonna set this at the cuticle area. This is where the overlay comes into play, right? So what I'm gonna end up doing is using speed clear and allowing the product down to run down over the stress area. Then as it runs down over the stress area, I'm gonna start pulling it from the sides in the front. I'm gonna to try to maintain as much of the upper arch as I possibly can, All right? Boom. And then as it continues to work down through the body, right? I'm going to have great structure right through the upper arch and around the perimeter of the nail. So now I'm gonna end up coming in with another small bead. I'll go ahead and set this right in between the stress area and the tip, and then work the excess down over the front, right? So we're using the core white as kind of a, a you know foundation, and then what I'm gonna do is use the glitter as a window frame around the edges and then what i'm going to end up doing is capping it with speed clear and then boom just like that okay which is cool right you can see from the sides right i have room i have room to file right i'm not going to end up filing around the whole entire thing i have room to file around the sides i have room to work 
And that's the most important thing. A little piece of glitter will file off. So let's just let this dry, move on. All right. So as this starts to set, the bottom part is starting to dry. So I know at, at this point, like if I wanted to come in, I want to really mold this tip into great shape. I would definitely be able to do that. All right. Uh, you have to always remember too, when you guys are working on customers, the area that you're going to end up pinching is right there. You're not going to put your wand, you're not going to put your magic wand flat like this. What you're going to do is you're going to come in at an angle just like this. And and, and it's just, it's, you're not going to do this because if you do this, then it ends up slipping off of the nail. If you come in at an angle like this, then that's where you're going to be able to pinch. It's awesome. Another thing is to keep your brushes clean, you can keep them inside your dish. We'll just go ahead and keep it there until we're complete. Take the edges off of your file so that you don't cut your customer. And then what we want to be able to do is we want to be really careful that we don't file into the edges and remove that glitter, right? So file down my sides and make sure that I have really, really straight ledges. If I turn to the side, I want to line this up at the lowest point, right? And then I'm going to file up and into the sidewalls. And you file up and you keep that file parallel. Then eventually what will end up happening is as it works towards the growth channel, your great shape. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna look down the underneath the barrel of the nail and you can see how straight it is, right? We could take our safety bit and then I'm gonna run it around 12,000 RPM. So you can see from the side, how much am I going to take down? So, so if I, you can see that thickness right there, I was able to take that down without taking away the glitter. Just enough clear over the top of that. And then I'm going to work down the barrel of the nail to finish this off. I'm gonna be very careful when I'm going around the perimeter of the nail. I do not want to remove that glitter. I don't want to remove it from the sides, but just to show you guys what you can do with core white, some glitter, and some core white glitter and some speed clear. And then just remember when you guys are doing this, uh, use your your protein bond uh, around the perimeter. This will this will kind of act as an anchor and seal off any. Um, it'll seal off any like exposed natural nail, and it'll it'll anchor the top coat down to that area as well. But this is this is cool. I like it. Kind of a natural, right? Kind of a tight window window frame, window seal, right? To get all that around. Just another way of, of showing you guys how to take your designs to another level, mixing it in so that you have great results. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you and uh, love you much. I'll see you soon. Peace. It's gonna be epic.